Welcome back to Capybara Go and today we will talk about events and beginner events. I will tell you how to get all rewards in 7 day carnival and how to manage growth events which is extremely important for your long term progression. But before we start I would like to ask you to like and maybe even subscribe for YouTube algorithm to push this video forward. Let's go and push our content forward. So. 7 day carnival is one of the first events that will be available in the game and it's extremely important to finish it for the new players why because it gives you insane amount of rewards you don't only get the rewards for finishing the milestones which are pretty easy to get and uh, self-explanatory but you will also get the rewards for completing the tasks every day you will unlock the new set of tasks and on the seventh day you will have them all and you will have like seven days to finish that let's go to the capybara go wiki and here we made a table that will be really useful for you so first of all you can see all the tasks and the rewards here so overall you will get 1.4k gems and 840 pet eggs which is pretty cool but most important thing here is this this is the list of the tasks that you will need to do so some days have uh, the mission to complete the main story at stage like five two because that will be your final tasks and uh some of those are pretty self-explanatory and don't need preparation but some of them might require some planning to do them efficiently so let's get back into the game and most of the tasks will be completed as you go don't worry about that the things you might don't do fast enough will be uh, getting the black market purchases and uh, because of that you would like to check black market every day and try to get the good deals right now we don't get anything really good here because what free-to-play players should do is either buy gold and horseshoes if they are on the good discount which is like okay per position and what i found the best deal for myself are the keys they don't have those keys right now but those are legendary keys for the chest with like the best item drops and they can be on the discount and since i like to spend my extra money extra gems on the legendary treasure chests it will be cheaper to get those keys from the black market than paying pro for them with the gems so there's that but yeah since the seven day carnival lasts for 14 days you can wait with these tasks for a while i already got two purchases and there are three more to go uh should be done by the time if i want make it in time i will just buy random things and it will be okay the next thing is consume 3000 energy which should come over time as well but it's pretty hard the hardest thing for you and for me and for most free-to-play players will be completing the main sta story stage 20 and clearing tower of fighters 3 reaching 2 million com combat points is easier i will explain how to do it a bit later you can just follow the beginner's guide and you will be okay but basically, if you will go through all the stuff the game offers you daily and get the proper upgrades for your pets, so that means maxing out your main pets that are uh, active and getting all other pets to level 5, then to level 10, to get extra stats, you should be okay. So the main thing that I wanted to mention is not to spend all your diamonds. Uh, and your diamond spending priority should be different. I'll make a separate video on diamond spending and earning guide but to be sure you would like to save up for the growth event but also you would like to spend daily gems diamonds for some purchases first one is getting the energy that will allow you to get more energy more progression more gains the next one is dungeon dive here you would like to buy uh actually two of those dungeon dive vouchers the thing is People recommend to buy them at floor 100, so uh, maybe early on it's not that efficient, but still, I buy one of them. It, it's pretty cheap. The second one is like a bit too expensive, so I don't go for that yet, but later on you would like to do that. And the rest of the gems should be saved up, because once you will get black market growth event, it will happen, I think, on the third week of your playthrough. So right after the seven day carnival, you would like to have enough gems to buy stuff over there. So what do you want to do is buy a horseshoes pack for 10,000 gems, refinement pack for 15,000 gems, keys for 2.5 thousand gems. And there are a lot of other things that you would like to buy. But overall, 
If you can save up 25, that's like 27.5 and 37.5 thousand gems. Wow, that's a lot for free to play players. You would like to save them for black market growth event. Although, if you don't have all of them, it's completely okay. And you still need to spend them for your daily things to progress faster. So, you will uh, get more gems as you go. There are a variety of sources to get them. You get them from the events, you get them from arena, you get them from different video for that will take too long otherwise but yeah early on it's really hard to balance because you would like to progress far enough to finish seven day carnival and get strong enough to beat those uh, main story and tower of fighters while still saving up for that event that will come afterwards so you would like to get growth over there it's also recommended to save up your eggs save up your golden horseshoes your divine hammers, spirit stones, and of course your chests uh, in order to use them in the proper event. But early on, if you are pushing seven day carnival, that should be a higher priority. So your goal will be uh, beating it. And uh, if you can't beat it, if you are not strong enough, you can use up those resources to get stronger. My personal recommendation would be waiting until like three days or two days left on the counter because you get stronger every day. And then if you can push those stages, invest all those saved up resources, not all of them, but like slowly invest them to get stronger and beat those stages. The other thing that equipment matters quite a lot as well. You would like to get the best builds for your early game progression i will make separate video on that one as well so subscribe if you haven't yet to see more of that and to be sure you would like to use something like guardians ring you can get two of those for better gains i don't have the second one yet so uh yeah and something like icy bubble here for icy spikes to stun the enemies tunic for extra attack buffs and different weapon well i don't have the good one right now but i think i think nomad bow is the recommended weapon as far as i remember yeah for physical shield build, it's Nomad Bow, Tunic, Guardians, Ring, and Icy Bubble. Or Magic Rings and Nomad stuff for the skill rage build. But yeah, basically, that will help you to get stronger. Once I've got my Guardians Ring, it was way easier to overcome the enemies. Collectibles help as well, but once again, you save up chests, right? And those chests will help you to go through the chest event. But if you won't be able to beat the 7 day carnival, you will lose quite a lot as well. So balance you can check the wiki for more details on the growth events when they will happen and what do you need to do to finish them uh, that page will be expanded it's like uh, in the early stages right now but you will find most info over there as well so let's give tower a go and see if our build will be strong enough to take out all the enemies i was stuck here yesterday but today i managed to push a little bit further and maybe even more than a little bit Overall, what you need to push for 7 days event is, uh, I think, Tower 20 has to be finished. It's Tower of... Uh, we're, we're defeated by whom? Who the hell is this guy? Oh, the mage. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're in 21. So probably Tower 22. Tower of Fighters 3. So it will be Tower 20... Three. Yeah, Tower 23 has to be finished in order to finish the 7 day... Uh, last event here and what's important guys i forgot to mention that uh seven days rewards give you more activity points than previous ones this one gives 15 while the previous ones gives you five but most likely one to six days tasks will be finished naturally by the time you'll get to this one by the way top up one time doesn't require you to actually top up you can buy any pack i bought no add pack and it works so i've managed to finish that one you can still completed as completely free-to-play player you can skip two of those tasks to be honest so basically you will need to finish two of those tasks here and you can skip one reaching two million combat points should be pretty easy uh since i'm at 146 million right now and we still have about a week and it's hard to say what will be harder main story stage 20 or uh tower fighters 3 personally i found tower a bit easier but i don't do that many manual main story playthrough anyway i advise you to attempt the chapter playthrough at least couple times a day so you can see how good you are moreover rng plays a major role over here so you might get lucky with this stuff or you might get really unlucky with the skills and debuffs and all that and 
won't be able to defeat the god and final boss, and maybe even the mid boss. As for the skills recommended for your campaign playthrough, you can visit the wiki to see all the skills available. I recommend going for something like shield defense build. It worked really well for me in the past. So basically, you get those things for basic attack shield and maybe rage shield, and you build from there. It's RNG, so you might get lucky and get a lot of rage generation skills like daggers, like more rage on attack, and then you go for that build. If you are unlucky with that, you go with the normal damage and focus on something like more combo attacks to get more hits and trigger more events. And it will also depend on your gear and all that. So let's see how... Oh yeah, we get the basic attack shield right here. Let's see how lucky we will be with our... Um, current build there are basically a variety of options you can take you can increase your hp pool quite a lot and get the recovery that will be percentage of your h pool that will work uh, most importantly it's it's it would be really nice to get something like veteran that will increase your attack every turn so you can overcome the stronger enemies or something that i think it's called indestructible war veteran each round attack increases by 15 percent which is pretty cool and battle hardened Every round, damage reduction increases. So, uh, both of those are really good. They will allow you to become way stronger. Anyway, I think I have to make skill builds video a bit later. So, uh, I'm trying to get more details here to see how each skill works. And then we'll make the proper video for you guys. There we go. We get some damage reduction here as well. Sadly, you can truly see the exact amount. So, uh, you need to actually calculate it. You don't really see it on the defense. But it helps quite a lot. And I fight all the monsters I can see. Like, there is no point evading them unless I'm about to die. And if my goal is to finish the game, I would like to fight them anyway. Because every little bit of that XP helps to get extra skills to build up your um, happy bara to become stronger. So far, our shield build is working really well. But as you can see, the enemies are getting stronger and the shield might not hold out for long enough. So we need... Oh, there we go. We got the Rage Dagger that will allow us to increase Rage. So we can actually get more Rage triggers that will... Will it give us shield? Not yet, but maybe later. Our first Elite. Let's see how it will go. I think it will go pretty well. We even managed to land the Critical here. Overall, oh yeah, it's getting through the shield, but it's not doing that much damage. So our defense... And damage reduction holds on pretty well so far. I'm not worried about this fight at all. But later on, we might have some issues. Let's see. Dodge counter or fire strike. Uh, let's get dodge. I'm all for survivability for this run. And we managed to get war veteran. This is very powerful. And our attack will skyrocket in the longer fights. So it works really well with the defensive builds. Ooh, wow. Uh, I'm signing for this. I'm losing 103 max health. How much is it? 344. So it's about 30% about of my health. But damage reduction is so good. Uh, even if my damage will be lower. I'm totally okay with it. Because we get attack veteran that will build up our attack. Sadly, this shield. I think shield scales with your HP. So uh, because of that, we will have a lower shield. But I hope damage reduction will be good enough. Oh, yeah. It definitely works better right now. I can see that. And we can upgrade our HP later as we go anyway. And look at the attack values. Only four stacks of War Veteran and we are already doubling our attack. Let's get Critical Frenzy for even more survivability if we will drop below 50% HP. When you can explore something, always do that. The chance to get the negative outcome is so low. I barely ever had it. Oh, it could be so much better, but still good enough. We get plus 30% defense. That will be really good from the Minor Fortune. Looking forward to see how it will work. The worst encounter for me of normal enemies are two skeletons, the ranged one and the melee one, because the ranged one usually gets me. But so far, so good. We are good. Our defense is high enough. And with the damage reduction, it should be good enough to overcome the enemies. I'm wondering if it will be enough. We have another uh, mini boss, the mid game one, the stage 41, day 41. Let's see how it will go. Our attack is already skyrocketing, but it's so tough. The damage output is okay. -ish. It's not that bad. We can survive that. Uh, the problem with this dude is that it's really tough. So I hope we will have enough damage to take him out in 30 turns. We should. Yeah, it's getting way better already. We get 10 stacks of war veteran. This is 
pretty crazy. Our attack skyrockets. And if we will be able to get damage reduction every turn, we are pretty much golden, so we should be okay. There we go. Even without it, the enemies can't really do that much to us. We managed to take out the boss. And we get the golden chest that will have... Give me something good. Yes! Battle Harden. Honestly, Combo Spirit is really good as well. Uh, but I'll get this. That will help us to get damage reduction up so much. So we should be strong enough to beat the final boss now. Let's see how it will go once we get there. We are fighting an elite enemy in the sort of local arena and the poor werewolf can't do anything to us because of our defensive skills and everything look at that it's doing its best but it can't even break the shield anymore so i'm pretty confident we'll be able to beat the round like that uh rage skills icy spikes or basic attack basic attack doesn't matter that much for us right now and i think we'll lower it somewhere along the way so I'll go with the Icy Spikes for more stuns and all that stuff. Oh, basic attack Icy Spikes. We never had it before. And this is a really good Rage Shield. And all of those are nice. Because Daggers will give us more Rage and all that. I'll go with the Rage Shield. I think it's good enough so we will have more protection. Lucky Will. Here I will sacrifice some HP for the second roll as well. 15% uh, max HP. That's nice. So we'll spend some of our health for extra upgrade another dagger it's good enough and with our health restoration we should be able to recover that health pretty fast during the fight so more daggers means more rage triggers and we should be yeah we're pretty much healthy already nice oh no we get unlucky on the roll and lost some hp instead of getting the bonus and the thing is this is like 60 days run so the enemies at the end will be really strong mini boss again uh level 50 wave 50 day 50 and this one last time, I never managed to get through this. Like yesterday, I was trying and that I was demolished here by this mage on his ultimate. Let's see how it will go right now. We should be able... Oh my god. Still doing pretty decent damage. But each next turn, our defense... Well, our damage resistance will be higher. And they will not be able to do that much damage anymore. Moreover, our damage intensifies. So that should be good enough. Yeah. I think we will be okay. We even dodged. We even dodged the enemy ultimate, which was pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So now only the mage remains. We kill the first guy. And let's see. The mage is doing the ultimate. Dodged again. Oh my god. I thought that we will see how much damage they do, but not anymore. They are going down 15 rounds. Well, 11. So we are pretty good. Oh, this is good. I see spikes cause enemies damage taking increase. That will allow us to do more DPS because... Now, I'm a bit worried that my DPS won't be good enough for the enemies, for the boss. Let's see what do we get here. Uh, rage, combo damage. Uh, none of those are really good for us. Let's get rage attack, sword, No, let's get combo damage. Doesn't matter. None of those matter that much for us. And we get the mythical skill. Uh, let's spin it and see if we'll get something cool. No, probably not. Yeah, I'm never lucky with those. I got one of those once. They're cool, but yeah. Uh, let's see. We get another upgrade. And um, I will get the damage reduction again. So we will be even tougher. 21% attack. That was really nice. Dark Knight. Now, this is interesting. Sometimes, most of the time, they reward those werewolf and upgrades that will actually most likely harm you more than do you any good. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because yeah, those are the upgrades we are getting from this fella. And none of those are really amazing because they will lower something way too much. Something like a tamer might be good. And I don't really know. Lifesteal me? I don't like any of those, to be honest. So I'll just skip him. Because I can beat him, but the rewards... If we will get the random upgrade, that would be nice. But as far as I remember, this guy gives us nothing really good. So screw that. Too risky. Our build is way too good right now. And there is our final boss. The Orc with 20 million HP. Let's hope we will freeze him for long enough for our defense to build up. So he will not be able to over DPS us. And it seems to be going pretty well so far. Ultimate not good enough the orc will go down guys i am 95 percent sure of that it doesn't stand a chance because our hp region and all that is extremely powerful and we are getting the criticals in sometimes as well and uh, 
At round 10, it's already at 30% HP. We will be able to defeat him. Oh my god, this dude is getting bigger as well. I like that. We are competing. Who will be bigger uh, entity on the screen right now? It's probably will be Capybara. Yeah. And we won. So, why I uh, showed you this playthrough right now? I wanted to show you how you can adjust your build and how you can progress through in order to go through the stages, in order to complete this main story stage. Um, I'm only three stages away from finishing this. I don't know if I'll be able to do it today or later, but I'm 95% sure I will be able to beat it by the time um, the seven-day carnival will run out. Moreover, as far as I understand, I'm not really sure about that. You will get better AFK rewards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that right now. You will get more AFK rewards for higher stages completion. So that means that when you clear more stages, you don't only get those rewards, you will also get more stuff for AFK. That means you will get stronger faster. And that's another reason to push your chapters. So yeah, guys, just like that, as a free-to-play player, you will be able to get all 7-day carnival rewards. I'm pretty sure you guys will do that. Let me know if you managed or not as the time goes in the comments so we can see how successful you are. And you can get ready for other growth events right now because otherwise, if you wouldn't know that, you would spend all your diamonds, all your resources right now for whatever upgrades like I did over here. I upgraded my mount quite a lot. Uh, and it's okay to do that while you're pushing through the seven-day carnival. Afterwards, save those up, save uh, artifacts up, save everything because you will need it for the event and the event rewards will help you to progress faster in the long run so it will be more efficient the only thing you don't want to save is energy it's it's pretty easy to get it's pretty easy to use so mm, no add pack i love it <laughs> so yeah you can use it to become stronger by the way if you guys uh, don't have no add pack and you really want to beat the seven day carnival i still recommend you to watch ads I personally haven't watched them and I've got no ad pack just yesterday and I think I would be okay. But then again, there is a luck thing here, right? If you are lucky with the gear, I'm not. <laughs> if you are lucky with the upgrades or anything and if you are less active, for example, you might have issues. So yeah, getting a little bit of extra from ads might help you out, especially with the that goblin miner event for example you can get 30 more pickaxes and more rewards from this area but yeah other than that do everything all the dungeons complete everything you can daily make sure to claim all the free rewards everywhere get stronger push and you will be able to do that no problem let's actually open those chests uh they are not for the event you can open them anytime and maybe we will get something cool here we get another guardian ring. That was really nice. Uh, what do we get for ads? Nothing really crazy here. Probably nothing good. But yeah, now I can displace the sky flame ring. It's okay, but it's not as great as getting two guardian rings. Yeah, don't forget that you can easily downgrade equipment. Although be careful what you invest as a fodder because it might get dismantled into the normal uh, billets, the tokens that you can use to upgrade equipment bag but if you keep at least one of those items free equip no wrong one equip no uh, this is annoying quick and chance advance quick and chance advance and quick and chance again and now you can merge it back make sure not to use up your important things though because i i've seen this happen and it doesn't end well guys I really wish developers will introduce the lock option to lock the S tier gear and I'm not sure if there is any uh, notification when you try to merge it like do you really want to merge the rare S tier weapon so be really careful when you're doing that. But yeah in any case that should help you to get stronger go through everything and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and which other guides do you want me to make and please like the video subscribe to the channel all those things will help you promote the video in youtube algorithm and check out the video description for the wiki link playlist with the rest of the guides my discord and other useful stuff other than that thank you very much for watching it's been stan kosh have a good one bye